Okay, thank you, Jussi. Thank you. So, like we agreed, we just play this exposition of, of this sonata first. Yeah, I thought of speaking now. I've heard you play this before, uh, but it's some time ago already. And uh, I find that it's well on its way <laughs> to becoming better. So, uh, I think we could maybe start with shaping the music a little bit more mm. consciously. <laughs> so, uh, recently we have exchanged some information about these piano rolls played by Skrabin in, in 1908, which have been also transcribed into music so we can see from that performance what Skrabin actually did. Mm. And it doesn't really directly interest us when he played this fast and when he played that fast or when he left out north so when he <laughs> rolled the chord but more of course the fact that he is always doing something mm. so he does not keep the tempo mm. but he's shaping the music somehow all the time and i think that's essential in this music so that if you think of the basic ideas and so these kind of two motives in dialogue. Mm. You could al already think some kind of a difference between them, so that you have... <laughs> so before you start, you kind of have someone starting another gest gesture, so that we have kind of two opposing forces. Mm. Okay, so can you try that first? Yeah. yeah. And if we think of kind of upward moving idea, I think you play a bit too statically, like a scale. So. It's kind of on, way on his or on its way to somewhere higher. Mm. Okay, and it's kind of in that interrupt. Can you try? Okay. For example, you could try whether whether to play the last quarter earlier or later mm. to give a character. Mm. That's one option. Mm. Yes. Kind of too slow or too fast. Mm. <laughs> you have something to prevent you, or you have so much energy that you play fast. Can you try this? So you can experiment with this. So both are possible. Yes. So you just have to find your own version. Good. Now, this phrase structure, like in many works of his and many other composers at this time, it's kind of four bars and then four bars and altogether eight bars, mm. which is really the most standard. So I think that maybe the trick in trying to make this more personal is first of all, not to show too clearly the border of the four bars and the next four bars. So when you have... <laughs> so that this feels as a continuation of the previous. Mm -hmm. You see, so... You kind of go all across this line of four bars. Can you try? Yes. Okay. We can actually, right here, we could try to copy him, so that... He kind of slows down in the only performance we have. It's not mm. guaranteed that he would have done it in any other performance, but that's a possibility. Mm. So, the, so, that, so that actually those two bars would be slightly slower. 
And what is really interesting, I think that we can normally forget these kind of texts that are combined together with these pieces of this sonata. We have two kind of plots or literary <laughs> plans written after the piece has been composed, but they have at least been seen by Skriabin and kind of approved by him. But I don't really care so much. But both of them state that this, whoever the protagonist is, uh, an important man or man god or whatever, doesn't matter. Mm. There's a hero, one hero in this piece, so that this person is kind of angry. Mm. It's against something. Yes. And, and that's why it, it could be explained that we don't let it fall, but we keep it kind of forte and we keep it kind of fast. So that when you, what then? the sign of being angry. So that's, mm. I think, maybe an interesting option. And it's so standard in an eight bar phrase that we start a bit slower, speed up, and then we slow down again. Yes. Boring. <laughs> so, so can you try, try maybe once more with this idea? So stretch yes. a bit. <laughs> and then speed up a little bit. Okay, can try. Yeah. And if you take from bar three, for example, and then slow down a little bit here, and this is also a bit slower, then you speed up. Can you take bar three, man? Yes. For example, okay. Mm. So all this can be done. Yes. Doesn't have to be done, but I think it can be done. <laughs> and what's up to you to think mm. is what you actually want the impression to be. Yes. Because if you do nothing, the impression is kind of standard. Mm. And I think <laughs> above all, this music should be above any <laughs> standard. Good. Yeah. So now with this strategy, we can do a fermata here, like he does himself, and then. And what I would suggest for the next phrase, because he only has these two, and he doesn't go on until ta da pum like repeating mm. in another key. So try to combine two and three of this phrase. Through, through a little stretch. And you rush again and stop and mm. so that you break the regular structure. Can you take from here? Okay. How do you like it? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, li I like it. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. So, so that we uh, kind of decide approximately what we do and then mm. we let ourselves go. <laughs> yes. I think in playing Scriabin, this is maybe the most important thing. That once you've decided, then you don't <laughs> prevent yourself from trying to become classical mm. or anything, but <laughs> rather you play free. So, but I noticed that with this strategy, we kind of we kind of we start approaching the arrival to A major because okay, mm. isn't it? Yes. So, so yes. this is kind of feels like some new energy, but actually, actually, it's directly on its way to A major, which is our temporary goal. So how light can you play with the with the thumb? Do you do? 
Jo. Right, OK, and then. Yes, OK. Some think, of the old old manner coming back. <laughs> yes, but maybe you could adjust a little bit and work on yes. work on this. Yeah, I will. So kind of individually and really very very close and with a lot of fingers working because uh, playing mm. too much like yeah like blocks <laughs> leaves you much less variety. Mm. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay, but li we leave this. Moment. So I think the second most important after the 6-4, which is beautiful, is this. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So kind of the dominant of the dominant mm. of A major. So this is kind of our goal. So it's kind of the most important chord in establishing the new key. Can you play? Yes. OK. And before we go on to the next section, just a little thing about the pedals. <laughs> So there's a lot to discuss the pedals of Skriamin, mm -hmm. but in this particular piece, I would take care that once we have the base of the chord, mm. we have a, a chord that's as, as clean as possible. So that always when you play the bass of the chord, you hear that it's going to be clean. Mm. Can you take wrong? Yeah. Yes. 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 And if the balance of the octaves, for example, is right. Mm. You mostly have only this and not so much this. Uh -huh. It will be even more transparent. So, so you can leave something out of the pedal, but not everything. Mm. Can you take from... Yeah, I think there's too much still of the old, oh. old core. But there you can clean up, clean most mm. of the previous sound. Maybe once more. Yeah, yes, yeah. something like this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> but there's, there's nothing to replace listening to yourself. Mm. <laughs> so often you can kind of stop and. OK, sounds fine. <laughs> so kind of stop here and there and listen to the sound mm. you make. Yeah, check if there is It should become automatic, but especially when learning new pieces or when practicing this skill, it's a good way mm. to stop and listen in moments where you really ought to have a more or less clean mm. but resonant harmony. OK, but we go on. Yes. So it's obvious that we should have as the top, but it's a typical feature of Scriabin that he has a kind of a texture which is polyphonic, mm. but not like in a fugue where we should be able to. Mm. <laughs> 
it's all there. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they are not supposed to be heard as individual lines, but somehow you could try to pay att attention to all this. Mm. So that you kind of observe them gently in spite of the melody. This way. Okay, good try. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it uh, may become a little bit automatic, but you can maybe, for example. Stay a bit longer each time you. For all those, okay. Like on the first, in the in the in the middle parts, yes, mid, yes, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that uh, so that you don't play automatic, but. Hand. Mm. So you have a little gentle rubato mm. connected with this. Can you try? No. Yes. So it's kind of a guide for you mm. how to lead this music. So mm. what the listener he he hears is. A nice melody with some expectable <laughs> harmonies, but but you can lead yourself. <laughs> By doing justice to all the parts agogically, mm. in secrecy. Nobody's supposed to notice that so it's exactly what you do. But I, I can see. you try? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to insist on this, but you could try as an exercise. Stop, 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 stop. So okay. Is it every time there's a tight note? Uh, every time there's a... Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that don't, don't play automatically. This is only a, an exercise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then a bit less and each one a bit different. So that Sometimes very little, sometimes a lot. Mm. Okay. Can you try? In this last bar, which is poco written, it has this hairpin sign. Mm. I just would like to re remind you that the hairpin is not necessarily dynamic at all. Mm. So if you have a nice mood, because of the hairpin, you don't, you oh. don't need to play louder. Oh, yes. Just kind of stretch so that on. Just and bring it out. Mm -hmm. 
maybe as a as a little reminder of a new idea. Mm -hmm. C sharp. Now we are going to. So in that sense, yes. it it can be even slightly louder, but it's not a command to play play it louder. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere, a couple of bars. Okay. Mm -hmm. He says Pokorit, and as we have noticed, he plays <laughs> wildly different mm. tempi. Anyway, so when he says Pokorit, it's really a lot, I think. Probably this is born from this, so that you kind of get get the idea to move to the scherzando. I see. From the C sharp. Kind of hilarious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy. Okay. Yes, okay, good. And now he has Dolce, mm. and there's also. A break in the legato slur. So maybe you can, with all this in mind that we have done, give some more time. Yes. <laughs> okay. So maybe wherever you can start. Yeah. Okay. And maybe even more now. Mm. Because it's becoming a lot slower. So if, if you can start there. Yeah. I would yeah. say that in this particular piece, there's no single moment where we can play this this motive like two different mm. notes. But mm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is always. A So that you ne never play convenient, but mm. whether you, you distribute it to the two hands or just one, it's up to you. But never boom, boom. So they are always together. Like yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's even a sentence by Scriabin himself, where he says that he cannot imagine that anyone would try play with this with two hands. It needs to be. And you might know that when he was preparing for his diploma, piano diploma, he was considering the, the idea of learning all the 32 Beethoven sonatas and just giving the whole list to the jury and just pick up <laughs> for them to pick one sonata <laughs> up from the list. He didn't do it, so finally he did. He played Opus 109 only. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, he studied all the Beethoven sonatas and we are. Which yeah. is a famous, a famous example. You just have to dare. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good. Okay. And also in this. Oh, 
always preserve that rhythm. Okay, we go on. And now this is kind of a coda, but, but actually almost like an, in a classical <laughs> form, which this resembles as a as a scheme, very much. There's a new idea. And since you have studied also the last moment of this work, mm. you know that the chromatic okay. downward scale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it comes there too. So I think everyone should notice that now we have <laughs> a new idea, which is... Mm. Yeah, mm. so it should stay in the memory. Mm. Can you take maybe the same? Yes. Okay. At least, okay. Mm. And maybe because of this new idea, you could try to clean the pedal a bit more. For example, cut the pedal more. And also, so you, you don't have, you don't have to bind the top note totally. Mm. You can do that, and also it's possible. Okay, can you take for? For example, from there, okay. Yes. When yeah. you have the bass down, then you <laughs> play this chord. Okay, okay. That's right. Like this. That's right, okay. Mm. Yeah, and so that when you start this, the pedal is totally, 100% clean. It's so short that no one notices that you have a gap, but you need a gap because otherwise it will be mm. a mess. <laughs> okay. Oh, can it? Okay. Yeah, so that lifts the pedal totally when you have the bass A down. Okay. Maybe you like to do it. We could have a little look at the beginning of the development section. Yes because we have a new kind of mixture of these elements. So we have, first of all, first of all a and then kind of a contrasting idea. Taken from the second theme, more or less. Mm. But they are in one long phrase. <laughs> Although this is totally different. Like I was mm. looking at the ceiling and then I saw the sky. <laughs> so yeah. so that it, it's totally a different atmosphere, but it kind of in the same phrase. Okay, mm. okay, try maybe. So the dolcissimo can be considerably slower, I think. Mm. Sort of. mm. 
just in the same phrase, but yeah. a lot slower. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, quite good. Mm -hmm. Okay, usually it's self-evident that he just gives one dynamic, piano, forte, whatever. Mm. And the inner balance is controlled by the pianist. Mm. So nobody plays equally loud every note. Mm. <laughs> but here he tells us spe specific things. This is pianissimo, this is single piano, and this is piano. So he wants the middle part to be brought out. And the first time, this is pianissimo, this is piano, this is pianissimo. Second time, this is piano, this is piano, and this is mezzo piano. So it means that the second time is kind of in general also louder. Mm. But he wants to specify that the top note is not the loudest. Mm. That's the speciality of this. So the middle part should be more. Can you try? First time he marks the pedal, second time not, but I think we ought to use the pedal the same way. Mm. What usually sounds bad in the pedal, if we have semitones, for example, if when you... That's why I will clean here. And also here. So just change the pedal on the bar line more. Mm. Can you try? So in there? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And then go on. And now he tells us to do a crescendo. Mm. And kind of this defiant, mm. angry mood becomes, uh, it comes back. Which I find extremely interesting in the light of the accents in the left hand. So. Mm. So there's kind of a heavier element. Okay. Now in the next four bars, what I think could maybe be more important is the dot. The, ba the dotted rhythm. Okay. Mm. Because it's kind of a new idea. Mm. Can you take maybe... From can be kind of slower. And then a reminder of this. Mm. Kind of as, as a flashback almost. Mm. Okay, but vanishes right away. Maybe from there? Yeah. Okay.
but don't play loud. So. Mm. Yeah. It's octave, so try this new style. Playing almost almost finger octaves. Okay. Can you take once more, maybe from there? It's going to be fine. So of course, when you have this practically the same music twice, just do something mm, a yeah. bit different. Maybe faster the first time. And maybe second time, take a bit more time. Okay, something like this. Mm, yeah. But it's up to you, but just do something different because otherwise it starts to feel <laughs> yeah. like this right away. Mm. I think since most of the First movement after this is kind of a repeat. There's only one little point that maybe we could examine a little yeah. bit. Let's take from the end of the F, F sharp major. Where everyone usually plays, plays a bit slower, like himself too. It's, mm. it's normal. But I think that he's kind of playing with this option that every jazz musician knows that any major seventh chord can be replaced by a major seventh, a triton away. Mm. It's kind of the same chord. So they are in a way united, so it's not totally you. <laughs> so they kind of belong together also. Oh. Okay, can you? Yeah, so maybe slow down and then you realize, ah, oh, there's this yes. possibility. Mm. It's kind of like from another key, but it's at the same time from the same key. Can you say? Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, please. <laughs> It's a similar motion. Maybe the same. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you have the tendency to play. Just because play. most of us started. <laughs> So once you stay, <laughs> yeah. you see a couple of notes next to each other, you play like <laughs> a scale. Mm. But in this case... Yes. Okay. Mm. But you play so much with singers mm. that you know this anyway. <laughs> okay. mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. so always be flexible. Okay, mm. good. So I think we could play a bit of the next movement. Yes. Is it okay? So yeah. I go to the audience for a little while, like I usually do.
Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, I have the feeling that we could maybe quickly examine the use of the pedal again. Mm. So if you think that, can you start by playing totally without? Yes, okay. And try to keep the dynamics so that, so that you don't do accents at all. Can you play just one note? Yeah, okay, so that there's no accent at all. Yes, and then the least possible amount of pedal. So that only a, a little stays in the pedal, okay? That's almost enough already. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. So almost you could think that you could you could start with this little pedal and then a bit more. So the, in this, in those chords, you have a bit more pedal. Mm. Not full pedal even there, but in the beginning, clearly less. Can you try this idea? Yes. Yes. And let's go back to the simplified version. Can you play this? Then when you add the thumbs, they are the thumb of the right hand and the, and the little finger of the left. They are as light as you can. Mm. So this is kind of piano, and this is pianissimo. <laughs> can you try? Yeah, okay. from previous lessons that in piano playing we have as almost the only advantage to other <laughs> instruments <laughs> because we play several notes at the same time we can do different dynamics in the same line so for example in that we can bring out the top but in the lower part we can do more dominant Okay, so that, so that although you bring out the top a, a little bit, this is almost non, non-existent. Yes, that's right, okay. Okay, can you try that? Yeah, that's right. Yes, okay, mm. yes. So you can make it even lighter in the middle part. Good. And I would strongly recommend to play with as less pedal, as little pedal as you can. Mm. I have the pedal almost up. Mm. So can you try once more? Okay. Top note you can always hold with the fingers a little bit longer. You kind of do 
that a bit more tenor though. Mm. The top note only, okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's mm. more like it. Yeah. So although he says that all the notes have the same length, it's not true in practice. Mm. So we can have some finger legato left in the top voice and we can release a lot of the others. Mm. And then we can have varying degrees of pedal between one fourth and maybe one eighth of a pedal yes. <laughs> even. So you have all the options. Okay, mm. good. So you experiment on that because yes. that's, I think, the most important thing mm. in this section. So we can maybe have a little look, look at the middle part. Yes. Maybe you noticed already, but when you have... You have the same motif in the left hand. Oh, yeah. And mm. <laughs> True. So try to connect them a little bit more. Can you... Four bars before the... Yes. Double bar line, okay. So that everyone mm. listens, that's what they listen to. Yeah. <laughs> but the professional notice it. Okay. Mm. And gives you a guide for the phrasing also because you've slowed down so that that's why you don't play totally in tempo either. But okay. Mm. Yes. No, the same, four bars. Okay. Yeah. Again, he marks exceptionally two dynamics at the same time. And mm. Those are supposed to be louder, aren't they? Yeah. And then he goes. Okay, so mm. the top note is supposed to be a bit louder. Otherwise, I think you do very well this kind of play, playful. But I have a feeling that this is kind of <laughs> generally too loud. Mm. So maybe. Yeah. Okay, so it's hard to tell what this music kind of means, but what comes easily into mind is the, is the scene from Parsifal of the Blue Mansion, for example. So we easily think of a landscape with some flowers and this kind of thing. Mm. Okay, so that is... Even this is in this emotion, although it's louder. Just a little bit warmer, mm. not really loud. Can you? Mm. Okay. Maybe as a little addition, you could try to have more variety even in this. So the speed and the dynamics vary more. Can you try much more? skip because this is otherwise nice and that's the last thing I would just add that this is even more simple so my 
It's a simple <laughs> highest and lowest combination mm. and the middle part as light as you can. So can you try from there? Just play a simple. Yes, and no doubt we could, for example, try to play the second bar softer. <laughs> yes, and now try to add. For example, mm. okay. Yes. So that you don't, when the music is simple, you don't start, start to play like a simple. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that it stays elegant. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe just one last time this, this section being more free also. in the rubato, so that it's back mm. and forth a bit more. Mm. Can you try, yeah. try this? Okay. Yes, okay. I almost, almost promised to stop already, but <laughs> <laughs> you do the repeated note automatically louder. Ah. But So maybe a bit, a bit, little more relaxed rhythm. Also, it's easier to play softer. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? I yeah. think. If, yeah, it feels. It's a good feels option a because since the start of of, of rhythmical notation. The dotted rhythms are only approximate. Mm. Nobody means. Mm. Papa. Yeah. In the, the, the piano music of this period. Mm. <laughs> yeah. so, so often it's almost like a triplet. Very often it's grab and it's a lot sharper. Mm. Almost like a double dot. Mm. But anyway, you have the option of choosing between mm. the different options. So yes. a little bit more round is is more practical. Maybe if you want to play soft. Mm. Good. Okay, yes. but I think it's enough for today. Thank okay, you. So, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.